good day, A. Eh? It's Sedlow, and welcome to the BFM and Weapons Trainer mission once more. Um, I had somebody sort of reach out to me on the line, and they were having problems with using the in-game JTAC. And uh, I thought I'd do a quick little demonstration video to show how I use the in-game JTAC. Now this may not be the true to real world method of doing it, but uh, it gets the job done. We're here in our beautiful CF-18. We're loaded up with a typical close air support mission uh, loadout. We've got a Laser Maverick on the right wing. We've got a GBU-38 on the inner left and a GBU-12 laser guided bomb on the, on the outer left. We've got uh, two fuel tanks mounted double ugly configuration and that gives our targeting pod on the left uh, cheek uh, less obstructed view out the uh, left side. And so uh, we will also be doing our orbits in a left hand turn as well. Canadian CF-18s from what I understand, the pictures I've seen in OIR at least, uh, they were armed generally with a GBU-12 on each of the weapon stations you see occupied here. So um, we just like to mix it up a little bit. Let's go into the cockpit here. Um, in my weapons trainer mission, you'll find knee boards with just about everything you need to know. The in-game JTAC here is uh, Enfield 2.1 on 364.2. So let's uh, add that up here. So 364.2. Um, if anyone here has ever uh, transmitted on that uh, particular frequency, um, feel free to shout out, let me know, and uh, tell me about it. Because this is, uh, well, if you know, you know. Anyway. Uh, let's uh, just get our air to ground set up here. We know we're going to be uh, dropping, so we're going to go through our. Uh, uh, well, first of all, we'll just spin up the uh, JDAM here just by selecting it. Countdown timer starts from 10. Once it gets to 7, it'll be uh, good to go. Just got to get warmed up and gyro spun or whatever the hell it does in there. Who knows? Okay, let's uh, give our JTAC a call. Uh, we've got 364. Four, two on our prime radio. This is the one on the left. The one on the right is called the AUX in US speak. The Canadians just refer to it as left and right, and that's probably a better way to do it. Anyway, here we go. JTAC Enfield will check in with 30 minutes to play time. Time is zero plus 30. Available for tasking. What do you have for us? All right, so we've checked in. Let's see what they get back to with us. All right, I'm ready for the nine line. Are you ready for the nine line? Do you have a pen and a paper ready? No? Go grab one. This is uh, probably the most important thing you're going to need in a. Uh, cast uh, situation. There's a lot of information to come. So I've got my paper, I've got my pen. Let's uh, listen in. Okay, so the nine line was given here. Uh, the most important thing to know here is, um, and I won't get into what type one, type two, type three is, but uh, basically type two is the JTAC either has to see, have visual on you when you release your weapon or visual on the target at that time. Um, not really important right now, but it is important. The things we want to take away, first of all, uh, altitude of 35 feet, that's uh, the elevation of the target. We're looking for a tank column at Golf Golf 32393572. Okay, that's the coordinates in the grid format. And the JTAC always gives them out in grid format, even if you're in an aircraft that's not capable of it. But uh, I don't know. I hear they're working on the JTAC, so maybe things will change there. First of all, let's step up to our HSI. Oh, you know what? We haven't finished getting all the information. Let's do that. Ready to copy remarks. Wind 
All right, they want the laser Maverick. So let's uh, read back the entire nine line here. Make sure what is said here jives with your notes. All right. Here's where we get a little tricky. Um, first of all, the JTAC will be lasing the target on 1688. So select your Maverick, select UFC, select code 1688, enter. You can see that is now entered into the weapon. So that's good. Let's pull up the HSI. We're going to put this in as a new waypoint. Okay. And we've got waypoint three is uh, zeroed out. So this is blank. We'll use this waypoint three, press UFC, press grid. Now you'll get this thing on the, on the DDI with a bunch of things. Ours is golf golf. So it's at the center. So put your cursor over that select and now we enter our grid numbers now i'm going to show you something here we're going to go oh, we'd be prowlers on the radio all right so where are we we put our grid in um look at this here there's only six numbers here however the jtac gave us eight so what we're going to have to do is click this here precise and you see how that expanded out another problem though the JTAC gave us eight uh, numbers. There's actually 10 in this field. So what we have to do is uh, divide those eight numbers in two and add a zero to each section. So uh, we're gonna go grid three, two, three, nine, add a zero here. The next set of numbers is three, five, seven, two. Add another zero here, enter. Now we're cooking with fire. The other thing was the elevation is 35 feet, so select elev, select feet, go 35, enter. Now double check here that this aligns with your what you wrote down. 32390-35720. 35 feet, it's a tank column. The other thing they told us to do is egress to the east. And so once we uh, fire, we're gonna pull off to the east. Come down here to the uh, side panel here. Our FLIR is already on, but what we want to do is set up this LST, and that is the Laser Spot Tracker. This will enable our targeting pod to search for and lock onto the laser that the JTAC fires. All right, it's a lot of information drinking from the fire hose, but are we, uh, are we all ready to go on that, do you think? All right, I think so too. Let's go waypoint designate on the HSI. Oh, I guess I can do it up here for continuity's sake. Waypoint designate, it'll slave our sensors to the coordinate that we just put in. Let's uh, pull up our targeting pod here. Looks like we're masked right now, but uh, that'll come alive shortly. We can even um, sharpen up this turn a little bit and head towards it a little bit more. Now, we're not gonna laze the target ourselves. We're gonna let the JTAC do it here. Sometimes when they just give you a mark or no mark, um, you'll have to do the lazing yourself. And that's cool, you can do it. But we're gonna do it this way first. Let's uh, go over to our uh, targeting pod here. I'm gonna start zooming in a little bit. Now I just recently rebound this to something and I don't remember what it was. There it is. All right, so look here, that looks like a bunch of tanks, does it not? Sure does to me. Okay, let's uh, select our Maverick. One more press on the Maverick here. Here's our display. Let's call the JTAC and tell them we are IP inbound. All right. The next thing we're gonna ask for is the laser on. So key your mic again, go laser on. One, one. Laser on. And I'm gonna start heading down laser towards on. the target here. Blazing. Now, you see, get a look at the FLIR image here, get the sight picture. This is what we're looking at, this is what our targets are. We're gonna go LST here on the uh, DDI 
and that'll start the laser spot tracker. We're looking for his laser there. And we found it. And this is the same group of vehicles. This is the one he's lasing. So we are going to call spot. One, one, spot. Now we're going to call in. One, one, in from the north. Cleared hot. We've got, as you can see on the left DDI, the uh, laser spot on the Maverick has uh, picked up the reflected energy and it's ready to go. It's locked on. We got a message here. Our master arms on. We're clear to fire. Rifle. Now we are told that we're going to um, exit towards the east. But I'm going to keep the turn very shallow so we can keep the targeting pot on here. Now, in real life, you wouldn't have an extra Maverick magically appear on your aircraft. Okay, your Maverick will be gone. So what's going to happen here won't happen to you in a real uh, battle, but um, let's just watch. There comes the Maverick. Got the, got the tank. And immediately the, JCAT, the JTAC called shift. Now, if we didn't have any weapons on board, you wouldn't say that. But because uh, our aircraft automatically got another Maverick and he'll shift the target to a different um, target. And then you go through the same sort of thing. You go uh, radio menu, you call the IP inbound. And then you would call uh, for the laser to go on again. You call up the LST again, and what ideally you'd have is your Maverick set up again. Now I don't have it set up because I'm not smart. However, we've got it. Roll in, say spot. We didn't get clearance to fire, so we got to pull off dry. Anyway, that's it. That's the basics of how you do it. Um, I hope this was somewhat helpful. I hope it wasn't too uh, long-winded or whatever. I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.